boy, here we go. The Chicago Bears take on the Philadelphia Eagles in week 15 in what is a matchup of essentially a first place team versus a last place team. So this should be, of course, fun to talk about what is going on, y'all. Fox Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL talking about the Chicago Bears. And if you couldn't pick up the sarcasm, yes, I was being sarcastic, obviously. This is not going to be fun to talk about, right, with the Eagles and the Bears. Uh, first and literally last place teams in the NFL uh, in terms of the NFC. So when we take a look at this matchup the first thing i gotta start with is uh of course the numbers as i always do but before real quick if i do get to that hit the big red subscribe button down below people make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i drop a new video still bears content all season long and even into the off season all right so with that being said take a look at the numbers here it is a nine point spread all right, the Bear, Bears are underdogs in this one, duh, but by nine points. That was really the question. It wasn't how much they were going to be favored against, or I should say the Eagles were going to be favored by. It was just a matter of the number itself. And I thought this would get into the double digits, maybe like 12, uh, potentially 11, but it's at nine. It's at nine, so, uh, you know, a little bit of respect there in the sense of, uh, you know, not the Texans who's uh, routinely get like 14, 15, 17 point spreads. Uh, so that's good. And then the over-under is 48 and a half. Kind of high scoring there. And they expect that this Bears offense, which has been able to score points to uh, do so in this matchup, but we, of course, know the Eagles can put up points. So those are the numbers right there in terms of that. Let's move on here to uh, the two uh, defenses really here and what they do well. So the Eagles, uh, they are the second-ranked defense in the NFL. Uh, we know they're elite. This is why they have only one loss on the year, uh, a, a near perfect record. And there's a reason why they're number one in the conference, right? Uh, they are number one against the pass. So uh, yeah, you don't want to throw on the Eagles 18th against the run. Uh, so definitely a little bit below average there. Clear funnel with the run that'll uh, come into my keys here real quickly. The Bears on the other side, 19th overall. Uh, defense 11th against pass and 27th against the rush so they're also a run funnel all right so uh man i wrote down my keys in this matchup but let's just be honest about it all right let's let's be honest we know the bears really don't have much of a shot in this one right nor should bears fans want the bears to win right because we are going for that number two seed and so you know i'm talking about this game we know the bears coaching staff, players, etc. They're going to go out there, they're going to put up a fight, and yeah, it'd be fun to go ahead and get a victory against the Philadelphia Eagles, who literally only have one loss on the year. But ultimately, we know the rest of these games, as I keep doing the game previews for them, um, I mean, the cat should be out of the bag, right? I, I, I can't pick the Bears to beat these teams. I'm not saying they won't, or I'm not saying they will beat these teams, or yeah, they won't. I'm basically trying to tell you that um, the cat's out of the bag, right? I, I don't believe the Bears will win this game. The Eagles will probably win this game. I usually save that till the end. But I just thought, why why build a suspense if, if we really know where this is headed here? Right? Look, there's a non-zero chance the Bears could win this game. Cla crazier things have happened. But one, you know, very unlikely. And two, probably don't want it to happen because it would be a meaningless win, which would hurt our draft position i'm not for tanking but just saying even still let's talk about it right so the first key in this game for the bears if they want to pull off this crazy upset would be on offense uh we got to take an old school run the football kill the clock and keep play keep away approach uh with the eagles we're talking about you know a great offense with jalen hurts and and company and so we really need to keep them off the field and how do you do that you, you keep the ball, sustain long drives, run the football, clear pass funnel here. You don't want to throw on this team first against the pass. You don't want to throw on this team. We saw the Vikings offense, uh, you know, way back early in the season. They are an elite offense and they struggled mightily against Eagles. So you don't want to throw on this team. You want to run on them. And so you want David Montgomery. You want Justin Fields. You want the running game to work here. So slow, methodical, long drives, 
kill the clock, and play keep away. That's the strategy here. If you try to get into a shootout with the Eagles, you will lose. You're not going to win that. So let's not try that. So fairly straightforward here. That is the strategy, right? Not saying the passing game shouldn't exist, but we definitely want to go ahead and use, uh, you know, the short slants, etc., and and keep keep the passes, if you will, high percentage throws. Um, and look, like I said, part of this is we want to win the game because the coach staff is going to try to win. Part of this is also the development of Justin Fields. So yeah, I want Justin to take a couple of deep shots down the field to Chase Claypool. I want Justin to go ahead and throw deep to Chick Cole Komet. So like, I want that because that's good for his development, but I'm just telling you, you know, stylistically game plan wise, that is how the Bears would win this game. They're not going to win in a shootout. They're not going to win going back and forth. It will be in this fashion, all right? Let's flip it to the other side, number two, which is how do you want to defend this Eagles offense? Uh, so this Eagles offense is loaded. And, and to me, I, I, I basically wrote down in my notes, I said, pick your poison, because that's really what the Bears have to do here. you got Jalen Hurts, who's an MVP front runner. Him and Patrick Mahomes are kind of going head to head. you got A.J. Brown, who's been an absolute stud this year. Devontae Smith, one of the better number two receivers in football. Dallas Goddard, I think he'll be bad for this game. Um, and then you got Miles Sanders, who, who's having a fantastic season. I should know. I have him on my fantasy team. All right. So, um, and I will be rooting against him, just saying, but I do have him. He's been great. So it's like this Eagles offense is loaded, loaded. So you really got to pick your poison. Do you want to stop Jalen Hurts in the pass game because it's been on fire? Do you want to stop the run game with Miles Sanders because that's been on fire? He got 144 yards last week. So what do you want to do? And so to me, honestly, folks, um, this might not be a popular opinion, but I would rather stop the run and try to see what Jalen Hurts can do here uh, with the Bears because of a couple of reasons. All right, hear me out. I'm not crazy. This game's going to be in Chicago, so it'll be cold, potentially windy. We know it'll be windy. It's it's, uh, it's Chicago in, in December. And so the Eagles are going to want to run the football. They're going to want to go ahead and give Miles Sanders all these carries. I would rather us try to stop the run, even though we're not good at it, and force Jalen Hurts to beat us through the air. And if, again, he does, and he's very capable of, and Jalen Hurts ends up with a 300 passing yard, two to three touchdown game, so be it. Tip my cap to Jalen Hurts for that. But I just think it'd be harder for them to win that way. I think it's so easy for them to literally feed Miles Sanders 20, 25 carries, get him 100, 150 rushing yards, two TDs, and, and get out of here and, and, and with a dub. But the harder thing would be win it through the pass. So that's what I would want. Um, again, Jalen Hurts very capable of doing it. He's been fantastic this year, but you really just you don't have a much, uh, you don't have many good options here. It's either you, you get beat by the air or you get beat by the ground. So it's like, what are you trying to do? And Jalen Hurts is an elusive quarterback. So as far as the pass rush, it's going to be hard because he can escape the pocket. He can run. Like the Eagles are obviously number one in the NFC for a reason, folks. This is a very, very good team. So overall, uh, that's really the, the strategy here for the Bears in this matchup. Um, so I would rather have them try to have Jalen Hurts uh, beat us through the air than for the Chicago Bears to go ahead and um, let them run all over. So final score, as we all know, the Eagles are probably going to win this game. Final score prediction, I've got a very high scoring or fairly high scoring matchup in this one. 35 to 24 Eagles win in this one. Fairly high scoring. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.